Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. I hope you're all doing okay. So we have got a very, very busy episode lined up today, guys. We have got tons to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by having a look at this event that happened last time and just making sure that, you know, we're treating our patients as we should. So let's pause. So we've actually treated one. So we treated Christopher Collier. Collier, whatever your name is, Collar, I don't know what your name is. So you just had an arm contusion, which is fine. So we've got Josie Pearson here, so we're still not sure. So she might have, what have we got here, a liver laceration or a penetrated spleen rupture. So we're still not sure, but we're doing a UCG and an ECG to have a look at that. Okay. What's here? Abdominal, UCG. You see, so we actually don't need to do the ECG. Okay, so hopefully we get a diagnosis for Josie soon. So who else have we got in the hospital? Leslie, we do have. So it looks like Leslie's going to need a USG. Where is USG? There you are. But you could also have, oh, a blunt spleen rupture, which might have a tachycardia so you are also going to need an ECG there we go so hopefully we can find out what's wrong with Leslie we'll give you some drugs in the meantime oh actually let's also put Leslie on code blue so that's you two done so the only other patient we actually have in the hospital at the moment is Lee Hernandez so Lee well I think we can diagnose you yes we can you have a leg contusion my friend there you go so you're going to need some good old numbing ointment and then you can please get out of my hospital. Right, so we will, we'll check back, okay? We'll check back soon with those people. But we've got lots to do. So what we do need to do is, um, someone mentioned about the radiation, radiology department on the last video. So it is busy. Um, our x-ray is very busy. So we do need another x-ray. So I've shrunk these two rooms down a little bit, but we do need to get another x-ray in so what i'm going to do is copy let's copy it to there now does this give us plenty of room i mean it's okay it's a bit squishy and we've got loads of room but i'm sure we will manage let's delete that wet floor sign and we're going to get in the blue tiled wall there right lovely so I mean, we can actually shrink it down again, look. If we just do that, then we can delete that wall there, like so. We can get in that floor. We can move our cue machine thingy to there. Let's move it down a little bit. Now this door can go away and we can actually get the double door back in. Right, lovely. Now, we rearrange these to be a bit more like that and that gives the patient still at that little corner there where they can get changed and you know that kind of stuff so what we need to do is we need to say that this is a x-ray room so there we go x-ray room lovely we've got another x-ray what do we need some equipment cabinets that's not a problem at all Let's do something like that. And we also need the x-ray viewer. That's fine, we can get a couple of them as well. Right, so we need a couple of radiologists to come and work here in this department. So we are gonna get, let's get, uh, I mean, I want people that aren't gonna be late really, because it's gonna be quite a busy room, I would imagine. Let's get Holly. Holly seems like a good member of staff to get. And then we can also get in maybe, oh yeah, Ian. Oh, you haven't got a great radiology skill though, Ian. We need someone a little bit with more experience, really. Oh my God. Uh, or maybe James. James looks pretty good. Let's get James. James, you're in. Right, now what I also wanted to do... Oh, come on, ambulance. Yes, Nino, we get it, we get it. Is actually segregate these waiting rooms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's make all of this one corridor. And then what we can do is actually segregate the waiting room. So basically, if you're waiting for this MRI scanner here, you're not going to go and sit up there. So you have separate waiting rooms. So this is going to be a waiting room there for that one. This is going to be a waiting room here, like that. 
So that one can have a separate, well, like a, a joined waiting room, like that. Camera, my camera keeps freaking out. I don't know if it's just me or if it's the game, I don't really know. Then that can have a waiting room. And that can have a waiting room. And that can have a waiting room. And that one can have a waiting room, there we go. So what we do need, oh, I don't know what happened there. So then I need one like that, please. Lovely, right. So what we do need to do is make sure that these all have, or actually we don't need screens anymore. It's actually probably easier for people just to walk in and not bother with the queue machines actually. Um, yeah, let's do that. Because I don't think we really need them. If the waiting rooms are right outside, I don't think we need them. That's my idea anyway. I could be completely wrong. Right, so we need another bench outside here and we'll also get a chair. Not that we'll probably get many people actually waiting to go in. Um, you know, most people are going to come in through stretchers. But there we go. Now what we could do is we could assign, I think we can assign the radiologists to just do clinic or hospitalised patients. Now I'm not sure, I think it's better just to have two, but we can monitor that and maybe see how that goes. But we now have two x-ray departments, which is lovely. So that's one of our things ticked off of our list. Now, uh, my camera keeps going really weird. Now I have also changed our emergency staff down here, basically to have more nurses that just do transport, which I think helps, uh, oh my God, I wish it would stop doing that. So doctors here look can have either trauma center or diagnostics slash observation. Now for my nurses, they have trauma stabilization and patient care. Now, I just assumed that I would need both for our trauma center, you know, nurses that can do trauma stabilization and nurses that do patient care, but I'm not sure. I mean, I want the nurses in here to just work on our trauma center. So I don't know if I can select all of these to trauma stabilization. Not sure. If any, if any of you guys know, please let me know. That'll be much appreciated. So, procedures have finished on Ronaldo. Oh no, Ronald, not Ronaldo. Oh, have we still got doctor mode on? We do. I mean, I would like to go up to cardiology at some point. So I'm sorry, Ren um, Ronald, not Ronaldo. I'm sorry, Ronald, but we'll come up shortly. Now, are you just standing there or are you going to come into the trauma centre? Have we got enough beds? No. Well, that's an issue, isn't it? Can we get some of these people up to ICU? You can. You can't because you haven't got a diagnosis. You can't. You Can you actually just leave my hospital? Like, you're actually annoying me. Go up to ICU for your bloody leg contusion, please. You need to stay here. You need to stay here. And you need to stay here. But can everyone else please go away to ICU? Because we actually need the beds. Please. I said please. Darren is collapsing. Darren, what can we do for you, my friend? You are dehydrated. Let's make sure you get hydrated as soon as possible. Now, where are you? Have you just come in? Oh, you're actually up in the DID department. Okay. So you actually could have any of these diseases. Right. So let's just do some more tests. Where's temperature? There we go. I mean, we kind of need to do speech as well. Why can't we do that? Patient can't talk. Right, okay, I mean, let's give you some meds and then we'll see how you go, Darren, but hopefully you'll be okay. Right, so we could, well, yeah, we could have to expand our trauma center at some point. Um, can we make sure that these patients just go away, please? Here we go, right now, can you come in? Yes, you can. Collapsed patients waiting for a bed. Well, can you not go to the ICU? Oh, you can't because we don't know what's wrong with you. Well, uh, what's wrong with you, do we? Right, okay, so we need to expand our trauma center, actually, which is, I mean, yeah, interesting, shall we say. Right, so we've actually got two staff rooms over here. So I don't really think we need this cafeteria, even though it looks lovely and I, I do love it. We actually don't need it. So I'm actually just gonna get rid up to there and everything here, just get rid of everything. Right, missing equipment, you can go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this here, look. Copy all of that 
and pop that in uh, okay well, let's get in can we get two here can we get in two? Oh no by one space right okay so let's get in one here then we're gonna get in one more but we'll copy that so there's a smaller one in the corner which should still work you know with no problems uh, I'm actually going to get rid of these windows that go directly into the room so I don't think that's um, a pro oh my camera why does my camera keep bugging out right okay so what's wrong with you it's because you're not in the trauma center I bet so trauma center is now going to go to there right so that's great right now what we're going to do is copy two of these and can that go in there yeah we can definitely get one more so let's get one more in there like so and then we can delete that window lovely right now what we're going to do is get in our pink corridor actually to come down here a bit like that because then what we're going to do is copy this here this nurse's station and that's actually now going to go in there yeah okay right and then we're going to have another pink window here right so this looks a bit crazy at the moment but basically what we need to do is assign all of these stuff to over here so i'm going to quickly do that so you haven't got to sit through the boredom of me watching well you watching me do that okay so that is all done so our nurses will now sit here i've plonked in another door just here so we've got three more beds in our trauma center which is fantastic and let's speed up time a little bit right now let's have a look at this event so who else is here now so can you have you had your numbing ointment scheduled bloody hell okay right so who else have we got we've got Sh siobhan siobhan whatever your name is so we're going to do a physical exam abdominal palpitation then we'll do a usg and an ecg i think so let's do ecg and a usg now that should let us know what's wrong with you you're done Christine is still waiting to come in. Jody has got the penetrated spleen rupture. Um, so you actually need to go to general surgery to get that done. Or are you going there now? You might be going there now. What, wait, where are you? Where are you, Josie? Oh, you're in there. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Right, so that's you done. Oh, so you all need to go to USG, don't you? We haven't got very many of those rooms. I don't know if we have enough. If you're all waiting for that one. Hmm. Okay, so we could have a bit of a backlog there. So that's Josie. Now we've also got Leslie, but we're still not sure what's wrong with Leslie. I imagine we're still waiting for that USG room. And then, so does that get um, sonography unit and that gets done at the cardiography unit yeah so it could be good to get more of those but we're pretty tight for space here i mean we could actually now delete this like little area here and maybe get another you know one or the other if we did would we have a lot of corridor space we wouldn't would we no not at all right okay so let's can i undo that I can't no great fantastic right so I mean the other option is in our def uh, department of infectious diseases we did expand here so we could expand down here and we now do have extra room here now somewhere else here we've got extra room where I'm sure we had oh here it wasn't intensive care but the thing is I don't really want people to come up here unless they absolutely have to but it is like the perfect area, isn't it? Right, let's do it. I, I know it's not perfect and it doesn't make the most sense in the world, but at the end of the day, if it's gonna mean that we can treat patients faster, then I think it's something that we have to do, right? I'm trying to pick my patients first, guys. Right, so if you were to go in there, you, you miss it by one square. Okay, we can sort that out. We can sort out this corridor here as well. I mean, they're not actually going into the intensive care unit, so I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. So if we moved you to there, delete that chair, you move over like that. Now 
yep yeah, okay so that just goes in there we delete this like so let's go and copy our rooms prefab copy we're going to copy this we're going to go up 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 and away and get two more of those rooms in there just like so now the corridor wall has to be put back in and I'd also like to change the doors to those. Right, lovely. So what wall are we using here in our intensive care unit? The double stripe, and you're gonna go across a bit like that, actually, I think it's gonna work. So let's do that. No, right, let me go into here. Right, so you're gonna go there. That stretch is gonna go in, well, you can actually go away. And you're going to go there the double restricted door goes in just there like so this gets deleted and this becomes a corridor for intensive care like that lovely everyone's happy let's get some staff to work in these rooms here so let's get in michelle and let's also get in you now here for cardiography we're going to get in jeff and let's also go for daniel right awesome so we've got two more rooms these are all going to say patient's room does not function there we go lovely bring patients up here lovely jubbly now do we need a waiting room here we might we start oh yeah you need a door don't you right let's get a door in here i'm gonna go for the glass door is that all good? Yep, lovely. That all works, doesn't it? Yes, right, so we're going to need, oh, I don't know if that bit does though. Admin, cafeteria, is that too small? There we go, so that could be a cafeteria. Missing equipment, what are you missing? Ah, you need two chairs, okay, to so move that to there, that to there, that to there. Yay! Right, so radiology, let's just get a couple of benches. We'll get the new benches, just in case people are coming up here, um, you know, that need to have some kind of waiting room. Right, perfect. Right, so that should mean that we can transport a few more patients from here up to USG, so we'll keep an eye on these events. Now, God, it's so busy, right. So in the meantime, we have been working, oh, well, I've been working on the cardiography department over here so sorry cardiology so basically um, i've got all the decor done i've staffed it all up let's see do we have any patients anywhere um no no we've got one patient in our regular ward who has a pulmonary embolism so let's make sure that he's just getting all of his drugs so it's a pretty quiet department at the moment but i sorted all of that out now as you can see we've also got our clinic so this is the department of infectious diseases now what I've done is I actually moved the clinic from here over to here. Now this means two things. It means that we've actually segregated our clinic patients and our hospitalised patients even more, which is fantastic. Now what it also means is we have just more space, right, which is great. So if we go into the department, can we go into it please? Here we go. So we've got two um, doctor's offices, you know, clinic rooms available. Now I also want to get some more doctors. Let's get one more doctor in the day for the meantime with advanced diagnosis. Alice is pretty good. Rebecca's okay. Let's go for Alistair. So we've got one more doctor in the day. Now I also want to just sort out this a little bit more. So let's get some more benches like so, that way round. And then we're also going to go for a water dispenser in here with a vending machine there now we've also got this room to play with up here which is great and then we've got a little common room and a rest room in there as well so over here so we've got only two people in our regular ward and none of our isolation units currently filled which is great but it means that we can expand over to here if we ever need to so i think what we're going to do is let's zone this as a corridor and then we just leave it until we need to expand some of these rooms and units. Now, we have had an updated patch to the game, which is fantastic, which means a few of the rooms work better, but we still have a few bugs here and there 
um, especially like the fact that you can't mark rooms like the trauma center or labs or any other corridors I believe at the moment as these biohazard areas but we'll see how that goes now have we got patients coming up to these rooms I'm not sure really I'm not sure employee leveled up that is fantastic so it looks like we've also treated Lee Hernandez now which is perfect so let's have another look at these patients just here right so Siobhan Siobhan whatever your name is you're waiting on your USG and ECG that's lovely let's just give you some meds in the meantime oh we've got a complicated diagnosis for Maureen hello Maureen how are you doing so you either have a beef tapeworm or uterus cancer I mean that's wow okay so I mean we haven't got gynecology so I think you've got a beef tapeworm Mar I keep wanting to call you Margaret Marine there you go so let's give you all of your meds right now you can go away Marine right so who else do we have here so you're waiting Josie you're actually waiting for your surgery let's get that done as fast as possible and then we've also got Leslie here and again we're just waiting on the ECG and USG right okay that's not too bad at all then now I did actually fire a nurse yeah from here so let's get another nurse that does both this patient care and um, trauma stabilization and I'm sure one of you lovely people will let me know if I have to have both or not so you just do not do patient transfers there we go so we've got any spare beds so we've got yeah a few spare beds now that's great it means you know we've getting a few more patients through this department that's absolutely lovely right now i think we should be getting another patient in here so we've got in christine it's chris yes christine collier here look so she's got diffuse axonal injury so she actually can just go straight to oh okay i mean i want you to get you just straight to neurology really what's your treatment diuretics which I can't give you because you're here I and mean, is that not really stupid so do you just need to go like to a bed and then can I then can I get you to neurology where are you I oh, know like slow down time okay slow down time right now can I get you to go to neurology yeah right you go to neurology have your diuretics and then you should be treated right Kate Knight here is also collapsing due to either a penetrating bladder rupture or renal laceration so we need to do USG is probably the best and abdominal so let's do that and what else was it the abdominal and USG wasn't it right so let's do a USG as well there we go right now that should be Kate all good right Simon it's been waiting a long time for a CA blood test now I assume that's done in hematology I would assume so let's go and have a little gander up in our labs do we have lots of samples one and two so we're doing okay I think it's just taking a little bit of a time to actually properly oh oh no who was it I can't remember his name and who he was in oh, I can't remember what department he was in was it urology was it you yes oh well, I guess okay right so is it actually that you're just waiting on a nurse or a doctor to come and see you I mean, it could be right we've only got I mean it's not a lot of doctors really is it I won't say that's a lot of doctors to have for we've got these doctors for the operating room but let's get some more so what we're going to do is we're going to get oh my god my camera right chill out chill out right what we're going to do is we're going to get in another desk now let's get in another desk like that another chair I actually want a blue chair please can I get a blue chair does that work no okay so let's get rid of you pop in a blue office oh my god blue office chair but we're we actually going to go over here there's just a bit more space over there so there we go office chair let's get you a pc and we're also going to give you a printer there we go 
Right, now we can get in some, we've got shelves over here. Just get some, actually no, let's not. Let's not do that. Right, let's get some more doctors with advanced diagnosis maybe. So you, you're great at night, Joseph. I mean, you're very expensive. But let's get you at night. Because money's no object for us, so that's not bad. And in the day, let's go for... Hmm. Maybe Colleen. Let's get in Colleen. Right, so that should mean we have a couple more doctors. Now, let's also get in some more nurses, I think. And we've got some nurses. I mean, we've only got one nurse to do transport over here. Yeah, so let, I think we are going to need some more nurses, aren't we? Let's get some more nurses back here. Now, if I move those out to this corridor, then what we can do is get in a square table. Oh, we're going to probably going to have to be able to get one nurse in. And then these are white chairs with a laptop. And then this nurse here is going to focus. Uh, we need equipment table. Let's get rid of the mill tray. And we'll get one equipment table in there. It's a bit tight, this bit. And then we're going to get in a nurse that just does like clinical care. So let's go for... Who have we got here? Josie. So you just do patient care. And then at night, we're going to go for... Who have we got? We'll go for Gwen. And then Gwen again is just going to do patient care. Oh, this has been a busy, busy day. Right, okay, there we go. So have we got any updates on our event patients? Let's have a look. So Christine's going to get... So Josie's having her surgery, yeah. Christine's going to get her um, treatment in neurology. Siobhan, we're still not sure what's wrong with Siobhan. We're waiting for the USG and the ECG to come back. And then Leslie, we're waiting on the same. We're just waiting on Carol Hunter to come in to the department. So let's have, where's Carol? Is this her now? Can we go? No, so she's still waiting for the ambulance. Okay, that's fine. That's not a problem. So we're still waiting on the USG. And is this Carol? Yes, hello, Carol. Right, so yeah, you're also going to need a USG in those bits. Let's do abdominal palpitation. Let's get your blood transfusion started and let's work you on an ECG and a, e um, a USG somewhere. Where's USG? There we go. USG, you were hiding from me. There we go. Have we got plenty of beds in our trauma centre? I think we do. One free bed. Wow. Okay, so it's really, really busy at the moment. Right, so I hope we have enough nurses and doctors. It looks like we hopefully do at the moment. Um, so where are these nurses? Let's have a look at these nurses. Are they going up to observation? Performing trauma stabilisation. Reserved for first aid, Jessica Hewitt. Okay. So it looks like you are doing a few bits and bobs. I mean, we are going to probably need more nurses at some point. Um, I wonder if it's worth actually copying... Actually, basically copying this, actually, isn't it? Copying this here. And just getting more nurses. So let's copy that there. We're going to get rid of that wall. And that wall. This is going to be a small nurse's station, which is over here. I don't know how big it needs to be. And let's also get you um, some equipment cabinets and maybe some scrubs like so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually do some flooring here and we're getting some of those white tiles there we go lovely right so let's get some more nurses so let's go for we'll go for caroline you do not do patient transfers we're going to go for who else have we got here lynn Lynn, you do not do patient transfers. No, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. There you go. Um, no, you do do patient care, though. We'll see how that goes. Now, let's also go for... Who have we got? Let's go for Sue. Sue, you do not do patient transfers. And let's get one more nurse for the night uh, 
for the clinical speciality and we're going to go for Gale and Gale guess what you do not do patient transfers so that should be a few more nurses here that should help out Carol is actually collapsing let's get her on a code blue and hopefully we can help her as much as possible oh my god right Jessica you've got HHD so hypertensive heart disease uh, so you need diet modification as fast as possible let's also give you these drugs to help with the things that you're suffering from there you go right guys that is it from me today i really hope you enjoyed the episode hopefully we can get through more of these event patients in our next episode we've got 13 minutes left to treat these patients anyway guys take care of yourselves have an awesome day and i'll see you later thank you very much for watching the video guys i really hope you enjoyed it please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already and please feel free to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram have a great day. See you later.